and welcome to Minsk Pocket, you absolutely wonderful people. We got another cast here this time around. Another 2v2 in the Allies. We have, well, um, 101st Airborne and his teammate, Thomas. And they are up against PFC, Private First Class and Stan, who I was initially led to believe is Asher Blah, but I haven't been able to confirm it unless Asher Blah has two different Steam accounts. But for this match, let's just call him Stan. <clears throat> so, Minsk Pocket A. Eh? A map which is quite laney. We have one lane on the left, one lane on the right, one lane in the middle. So, yeah, that's that. Something a little special about this map is there are actually two points you need to snatch in order to cut off the fuel point here. So, um, makes it a little more difficult to cut off your opponent. And, of course, easier to keep the fuel rolling. <clears throat> Anything interesting regarding uh, the build order? Nope. But in terms of commander choices, which we haven't talked about, is PFC going for Feuerstürm? Ah, I love that. Stan? Jaeger Armor Doctrine, yes, makes perfect sense to get the Elephant around to help out. Since these lanes are quite long. Thomas, however, he has gone for Conscript Support Tactics. Lots of uh, repair opportunities for his uh, tanks. Meanwhile, 101st Airborne, he has yet to um, pick a commander, but he is bringing Airborne Company, Infantry, and Urban Assault Company. <clears throat> Anything that stands out regarding the bulletins? Um, mines are faster to lay, including barbed wire. Maxim is a little more accurate, and the Walking Stuka Barrage recharges 5% faster. So there's that. 101st Airborne here, taking a good engagement, pushing back PFC, Private First Class! Or as some other people, translates it to something regarding felines and excitement. <clears throat> so you're gonna have to uh, work your own imagination as to as to what that could be. <clears throat> well, the allies are sure just pushing up Daisy here. Though Stan, he is holding his ground here, at least with his grins. They're not really getting focused. He was, of course, well, the allies were chasing off the HMG there. If they had stopped to focus down the grins here, that HMG could have had the time to turn around, set up, lay down the suppression fire. Whew. Heavy uh, weaponry, flamethrower. Gotta be careful though, as we are in a forest here and looks a bit dry. So that could be a potential forest fire. Or in this case, <laughs> Molskrenadier fire. That guy is running as fast as he can to outrun the flames. <clears throat> 101st just getting up his uh, ambulance. PFC for Volks, yes. Stan, he's just... What is he doing? Okay, getting... Met bunker taking up. PFC also got his... There it is, the truck. Huh. Is he going for a forward retreat point? It will, of course, expose him to... Um, more to artillery fire if we get there. Hmm. Not that the allies have any... Um, long, heavy barrage artillery available for them in their uh, stock. They could, of course, get a commander with a, well, a priest. Or a calliope, for that matter. Otherwise, the heaviest thing that they got is uh, the mini-pack howitzer. <clears throat> well, according to uh, my observations, the axes are actually holding the majority of the map. At least for now, just both players are now getting their high munitions point. 
back into supply and I got a sneeze if you'll hold on. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. For a second I could have thought, ah, uh, it's going away, but no. Nope. Came back with a vengeance. Uh, Captain, 101st Airborne, getting the bar on him. A, um... A choice I would say that he made for um, the AT gun. I'm not sure we'll actually see some light vehicles here. Maybe we will. Okay. It does make sense to get out the um, AA half track, getting that mobile suppression platform to drive around, lay down some suppression whenever it's needed. Whereas a 50 cal, well, not as mobile as the AA half track. I would be surprised if uh, the humans could sprint as fast as it can drive well 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 up close and personal captain with his submachine gun and the rifleman with the bar didn't really manage to do an awful lot as they got overwhelmed there and pfc we are actually seeing some light vehicles here light tanks okay <clears throat> Well, at least um, 101st Airborne, he can respond with getting out his AT gun. Thomas, what have we gone for here? He's got the support weapons company down, so he too can get out CIS guns. And here it is, the 2-2-2 two -two -two is actually doing what it can to cause havoc among the allies. Well, Thomas now feels the field gun pun intended and i'm not sorry for it also look at this we do have the mp40s here replacing their incendiary grenades with hg and smoke neato uh well pfc cancels why would he cancel the p2 the looks in favor of a puma i guess he didn't want to go p2 and a puma so he's like okay i'll get out the puma gets a little bit of veterancy going for it and then in the later stages of the game it will be an excellent uh, support unit in terms of uh, at support it may not be able to take on the uh, heavy armor but it is very good uh, once it's been vetted up versus medium armor as a supporting uh, at unit not that it can go toe to toe with them but it's got a couple of tricks up its sleeve. Hmm. Flamethrower, yeah? Ah, congratulations! If only you had switched that out for a minesweeper and now it's coming and yes, it is definitely needed. As there is a mine there, but it looks like they won't be stepping over that one. Oh, but if they were, then they'd die, but... Ah, Minesweeper came in just in time to reveal the mines. Question is, did PFC notice it? And look at these advanced tactics here, such as hitting the dirt. <laughs> Anywho. I see a little bit of fighting here, but... Oh, yes. 101st with his... Um, a half track. He apparently also have lost some infantry here. If you'll uh, briefly excuse me here, yes, two of his riflemen, and I apparently completely missed it. So whoop de doo. Anywho, not to worry. 101st Airborne. He's just replacing uh, his riflemen with some Rangers. Oh, he's actually going for the Thompson machine guns. I would disagree with that choice. I think this map here would have been perfect for uh, bars on the rangers as we do have these very long corridors. And there are not too many opportunities for um, 101st at least on this side of the map here to hide behind some side blockers i mean there's a little bit down here near near their base but a little bit up there but in the middle well, 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 well. i would still have loved to see uh, bars on them rather than the thompson machine guns but let's see if um 101st airborne he can make it work if he can get up close and uh, 
where the rangers of course will be able to do an awful lot of damage of course if they are behind enemy lines well then they um, also have an opportunity to sneak up upon the enemy coming in to help out there it is the AA half track doing just fine the pack gun here is standing still <laughs> and now reversing got up close here got around the HMG scares the off some fighting going on over here combat engineer with the flamethrower trying to burn them out here is actually doing wonders against the t70 i am pleasantly surprised that we're actually seeing light tanks in a team game oh just got suppressed before they opened the door they're so polite waiting for each other should just have gone in anywho oh he actually managed to push him back well one more burst from that flamethrower could have a uh, Perhaps maybe even taking them out. But then again, the Stone Pioneer Squad, they themselves were low damage. Now, the Puma here. Maybe uh, a good light tank killer. But if you can get it in close where its uh, machine gun can actually start to fire, then it is capable of racking up some infantry kills. Not to mention that it is very good at tracking down snipers with its... Uh, received accuracy bonus versus snipers that is well it's accuracy bonus versus snipers not that the snipers are <laughs> easily or capable to hit the puma that's that would make sense uh well pfc he's not doing too hot is he lost that one too oh <sighs> well pfc pfc well not pfc 101st i meant of course running away there getting down some smoke here <laughs> i feel like every time i take my eyes off him but then he loses something oh please <laughs> oh well t70 just uh, checking up on his teammate there to see if he should help him out 101st here he's just chasing down Stands MG the 2 to 2 up to veterancy 2. That's where it gets it um, combat veterancy uh, Bonuses making it more accurate HMG HMG. Oh, yeah, no wonder uh, The 101st is struggling and that's not even to mention his uh, Losses that he has taken but double HMGs on uh, this laney map here Mm -mm, that's difficult uh yep so it's a little surprise to me that he has gone for uh, the mini pack howards are here yeah well at least he got his major out the sherman is on its way and if it gets loaded with the high explosive shells then it should be able to deal with these hmgs here and what little else uh, that should be standing in its way there is of course the at gun which can do some damage to it and the puma not uh, to forget Oof, and that puma well not even up to vet one despite i've actually seen it quite a bit in combat but again mostly versus infantry apparently but I suspect it. No, it didn't take down the AA half track from Ash Block. Could it have been the 2 2 2? Yeah. One vehicle kill could have been it. Back in base, we see that Thomas also attacked up all the way. Do we have mechanized there, mid bunker there? But. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Stan going up to battle phase 3, but we don't have a Svera Panzer headquarters yet from pfc and we are indeed getting close to the 15 minute mark but he has invested quite a bit of fuel uh, you know something into the puma and then some an early artillery piece and um <laughs> looks like the allies will have a little bit of difficulty diving it despite having um, the medium tank out but you know the puma the snares the at guns 
Yeah, three kills on the first one. This Maxim here is continuing to do fine, actually, despite being uh, bombed and pinned. Whoops. Ranger man, Ranger man, you are suppressed. Oh no. And con will continue to be so as we lost the gun crew, eh? That must have been, uh, yeah. Not really sure what it was. Oh, the HMG there. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we have high explosive shells. Even gotten the bulldozer uh, increasing its um, durability. So that's, uh, that's a thing. Uh, just a more HMG coming out there. We're still waiting for the tech structures to get down on the ground here for both Axis players. The question is, can Thomas and 101st Airborne really um put the herd on the axis as they have the technology advancement here they have the advance advantages getting some repairs down thomas well i suspect he is going for the kb1 heavy tank otherwise he could have, he can't afford getting a tank onto the ground that being the regular uh, t-34 Oh, Major goes down. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, well, after the recent patch, there is a more reason to keep the Major alive. Not just for his abilities, but at Veterancy 1, he does gain a 15-plus uh, sight bonus. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, was that the grenade? That got a got so many kills there could have been lots of kills for these boys uh they're getting up close with their mp40s but also stepping into the cover where the uh, flamethrower does extra damage oh clears up a bit of barbed wire there during it oh this battle here but the combat engineers are fine what's not too fine is this flank here that stern is pulling off Siskon, the crew, and the Grens here, they need to get into action. The 2 2 2 is derping a little bit around. Puma coming in for a little bit of poking as well. Oh, if only. Come on. Yes, there we go. Finally, they're starting to shoot, but oh, took a nasty hit there from the Sherman. Already up to seven kills, too. Nicely. Stan with the sniper. Yet to reveal himself, I believe. And he is at zero kills. Don't think he has a vision that reaches over there. Well, he actually does. Thanks to the flagpole. Shot taken. One kill, more to go. Well, a little bit of damage being applied here to uh, the pack gun, but it should be fine. So should the bulldozer. Hmm. The allies are actually starting to do pretty well now. They have been doing so quite uh, so if we take uh, the VPs into account. But also now, quite a bit of the map is definitely under allied control. Hmm. That flamethrower squad earning a lot of veterans. He didn't get the. D crew there and oh standing a little too clumped up for my liking need to uh yeah run away not worth losing a bit for pi stern pioneer squad not like that grenade and run once they um oh lost the pack on there the um sherman calliope makes an entrance as I was about to say, we should uh, check in uh, on uh, the ranges just to see how well they're doing. <clears throat> but the rangers are still running. Turning back to base. Here it comes. Oh, it's... nope, they're going over there. Uh, Slightly off the mark if we were aiming for uh, the mini pack howitzer, but uh, I don't think so. Rangers, six kills. 
Yeah. It's alright, I suppose. Anywho, they're looking to take back uh, the VP in uh, their corner. Nice and quiet. LMG grins moving off 26. Woohoo! Don't mess with that guy. And now we got the heavier tanks on the ground here. Uh, the Stone Panzer Fia Brumbear on the scene. Claims the first kill. Now, the thing is, PFC, no! He is doubling down on the artillery here well not wanting to tag up to uh, the um Svera Panzer headquarters apparently hmm well i don't think the the axis will benefit if psv he'll just continue to rely on his uh, puma for um dealing with tanks you know artillery is key but sometimes you can have too many keys <laughs> right getting up close there mowing down oh and here i thought that the humps of shop machine guns would be a poor choice but oh they just ran up gunned them down barely took any damage <laughs> well 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 at least stan didn't pay attention apparently and it was a fresh grand squad uh, still good pick up there from 101st uh, well stan have the broom bear the thing is what will his next choice be will he go for the elephant i mean Ah, uh, do the axes have enough support for an elephant? One raket Werfer and the Puma. And a Broomba and a pack gun. Maybe, maybe it'll work. But I'm still in favor of a more mobile choice. At least for now, for Stan. I would have said a uh, Panzer IV, but... Well, then he'd had to backtick from it, so perhaps a Panther, but... Again... That's uh, that's some way out. But then again, 101st Airborne, he is investing uh, some more fuel into um, another Calliope. So perhaps the Panther is the way to go. Diving down there, do some damage, circle around. The Sherman here is not that good against uh, the Panther's frontal armor. Even with the <laughs> armor piercing uh, rounds. Anywho, let's take a look. VP wise, Axis have dropped below half of their VPs, and another salvo is coming in. The Allies are sitting pretty on 430 VPs. Gets a D crew there. Nasty stuff. And this is where I think that uh, the Axis army composition begins to hurt them. They cannot really go in there and apply some pressure onto the Calliopes. Certainly not with the 2-2-2 two -two -two and Broombear and uh, <laughs> perhaps the Puma is actually the best choice <laughs> that they have and that's not saying an awful lot, is it? Oh, and just now PFC, he is getting out his Svera Panzer headquarters or at least I assume it's going to be it. PFC, however, he does have the rocket barrage here on standby and there it is, the KV-1. And that calls for some <laughs> beefier tanks than a P4. So it's probably going to be Panthers. That would be the uh, reliable choice. But resource wise, well, they're getting there. They're getting there. This 2 2 2. Don't want to lose it. Not a bit free with spotting scope. Sadly. With all these spotting scopes, he couldn't see the danger that was the SU-85. <laughs> now, Stan, he's been cut down to size. PFC, however, he is still doing reasonably well. What? Okay, it's not really set up yet. There we go, there we go. Sandbags are coming in. <clears throat> also, mechanics. 
doing their thing getting the broom bear oi, oi, oi. hey guys is this friendly fire or what oh no no stan stan is not really shining too bright now or is he yes he gets the pack gun to safety he can't afford to take these losses look look at the the manpower that, that he has in his reserve it's quite low so is pfc but at least pfc has got a bigger army oh ho 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 close call for that at gun and that was one nasty high explosive shield from the sherman oh smoke deployed as he's backing off still Ken Wiffer did earn one more vet there. Guys are just heading out to do a little bit of capping. 101st, he is doing a little bit of harassment. Back to the middle. We got a barren landscape here. As more artillery continues to rain, today's forecast will be, you guessed it, artillery. Ho, ho, ho. If that had been a D crew, that would have been a rare six man Maxim D crew to a Stuka. They were even quite spread out, I think. Well, a little bit of reconnaissance overflight here, getting a good aerial overview of just how much armor the Allies has on the field. Or have. Second round. Ooh! Take down. But Allies, they are responding. The Calliope here returning fire onto couple of branches trees timber well there is also a puma caught one of the shells but it's going to be repaired by the mechanics no micro needed for pfc such a good luxury to have the mechanics there more eyes in the sky flares as well mp40 Oh, he's really sticking around there. And now that he got the decap, that's the time when he should move up, throw a grenade. The MP40s, they do the most damage up close. Not really doing an awful lot here, though. <sighs> broom bear. Well, only four kills, really. That broom bear hasn't been... <sighs> hasn't really been living up to its potential. I don't know if it's just that... Stan has difficulty finding an angle onto um, the enemy infantry also due to the fact that the, the infantry is backed up by an SU-85 tank destroyer. Two kills, yeah, both vehicles. Well, PFC, can he save the day? Getting in close with the MP40s, but unfortunately he ran straight into some heavy machine guns. Well, at least uh, these boys are running, but that was not due to the Volks Grenadiers. Nope, that's the shadows in disguise that's landing. They were on a line there, but this one here didn't really take too much damage. Calliope looking to return the favor, and as is tradition, artillery is flying across on the map. Oh, Stan lost uh, another Gren. He, I think he's saving up for um, the elephant. Shouldn't be too long. Half a minute, and then he should have the resources needed. But the thing is, they need to take control of one more VP. At least they got a stalemate at the moment, but for how long? See, here comes the bulldozer, and it will be demolishing this bunker here. There's no backup for the bunker. It was a good call, I believe, because now 101st Airborne has, you know, one of his tanks up here. It's unsupported by uh, anything, really. The thing is, Stan and PFC, they don't have anything they can send up there to punish the Sherman. He's already gone. Oh, well. Well, I was initially going to suggest the telemine, but he already had a minesweeper there. Good job by 101st Airborne. But, uh, and he goes back in again. And this AT gun here, you know, they're just pulling it around, not being very fast. 
<sighs> and then once they're done here then they perhaps are needed back in the middle just a lot of time going back and forth did get off one shot but at least we have the elephant <laughs> one elephant came marching down the forest road it's a little bit overkill in terms of it getting rid of a uh, t70 but hey the axes here they need all the help they can get uh, the Svara Panzer headquarters here also chipping in with a little bit of damage or at least trying to take down nicely done kv1 taken care of <sighs> now the thing is can pfc take the middle along with his um yeah where is there okay he's coming in now whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what was that what was that that's a lot of uh, t-34s they'll be uh, hunting for elephants getting them to swarm the elephant get behind exposing the rear armor Perhaps even a ram a lam a ding dong Whoa, that's some... The bunker has been rebuilt. Pack gun also falling away there. Neatly done. <sighs> Still... The allies are keeping the VP under their control here in the middle. And another scout car coming in. And it will definitely be given the um, spotting scopes. Puma, nice knowing you. You um, did a good job. Took down the T-70 there, which offers a lot of um, recon for the allies. But I suppose they're gonna have to rely on the SU-85 and its focus mode. And let there be panic. The box has revealed itself. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Elephant. Maybe an attack round. This could be a shot blocker, I presume. So, yeah. Not gonna do much. And with the elephant backing up the infantry here. The axes are pushing back the allies. Elephant, however, is trying to catch up. Oh, is he really like... No, don't. No, no, no. Oh, that's a mistake from PFC. He's like, that's free real estate. But nope, they got shot and punished for their attempt at uh, recycling. 17 kills up close and personal, really. But one more shot from the boom bear. Are we going to see it? Yes, we are. But uh, only one kill. Whoa, even the walking Stuka coming in. Nope. <laughs> Decides against it. Like, nope. Don't want to see it. Artillery. Artillery strike. I don't think they saw the red smoke. Oh, this could be dangerous. They do have vision. Going in, there's one of the sh walking Stukas down. T-34 doing its thing, the Puma. Oh, bit free. Oh, right, so he had two Pumas, I didn't realize. But here it is, the swarm, as predicted. Brumbert Baron, not really capable of doing much, but the Puma doing its a little bit of support here. Could also... Yeah, with... nice. He actually got it. More swarming is happening. Whoa. Is it out of... It's still standing. The elephant is still standing. But in terms of infantry from Stan, he's got nothing. And now this Puma up to Vet 4. Extends the effective firing range of the Puma. This is where it is becoming so dangerous to medium armor. They even lost the SU-85. Where is the Allies' armor? They have a tank destroyer on the field. That's it. That's really it. Well, and then of course the Calliope's. No main gun, you know. Oh, oh, what? Stan, how did... The, the elephant over there? what ah the perpetrator no it didn't actually it wasn't the one that killed it and 
The Puma! The Vet 4 Puma takes out the Jackson Tank Destroyer! That's insane! That's insane! And still, how does this die? I completely missed it! How? Seriously? Do you have a vehicle kill? Do you have a vehicle kill? No? Was the RT? And could the SU-85 really reach that far? I thought it was dead at the time. Oh well, crazy game. Womp, 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 101st here. His infantry is also... Yeah, it's on, uh, on the same, well, was on the same level as Stern. Another issue 85 here. Let's see if it can hold up against the mighty Puma. At Red 5, it can even uh, spot units behind sight blockers. You know, it overrides the true sight system. Brumbear also doing a little bit of a will for itself. Rangers also still alive, which is nice. Oh, righty then. Broombear takes a couple of more kills. And, well, the walking Stukas just doing their thing. <laughs> 101st. Got his Sherman back. Getting another one, Thomas. SU-85 in a little bit of danger, but should be fine now. And more artillery is being called in. But still... After the Allies losing that much armor, the Axis need to take and hold the VP. And there shouldn't really be that much stopping them from grabbing the middle VP. Or this one down here for that matter. I mean, send someone down there, harass them, and then the Allies are forced to respond. Sending at least one unit over there to deal with the problem. Maybe even two. Oh boy, a little bit of danger there, but we got another Calliope firing. And yes, spotting scope has indeed been equipped. Sherman is revealed that Pekon is down. The Puma is driving into action here, looking to catch a parking ticket as it stays still. But then again, gets back onto the movement here. Back onto the third mill. Oh, sprint! But they do not have any snares, the Puma. The Sherman was a little softened up a bit. And the Puma is just going to town. Even getting an attack ground down there for some reason. Let's see the axes here. They need to start making that comeback. Get the VP under their control. They are softening up this area down here with more artillery fire issue 85 the puma is not ready for another ram a lam -a ding dong going up against the medium armor here from the allies middle vp not captured at least not yet yeah the broom bears can't do an awful lot against that sherman <clears throat> A little smoke screen is ready. The cover to cover. A little bit of smoke deployed and allowing any unit infantry in the vicinity to sprint. Oh, we're back at it here. Demolition duty. Courtesy of 101st Airborne. And the Puma is reversing into action here. It's quite the speedy boy. But he won't make it in time before um, the bunker was destroyed. Back on trying to... Cut it off apparently here, but needs more firepower. And the broom bear is being diverted to the middle where the allies once again have the middle point. <sighs> Stay on. A couple of minutes away from getting out another elephant. The thing is, I don't think they can afford it. But, yeah, 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 yeah. This waiting time here is not doing them uh, any favors. It's like they're playing it very cool and thinking it's okay. Once we get the elephant, it's going to be all right. And here comes a big bomb. Followed by even 
Smaller bombs. That was a lot of artillery there. But um, capturing of the VP off in the, one of the corners is going to the Allies. Almost triple capping uh, them. Well, it's going to be a double cap, the middle VP still. Stuck in no man's land, at least for now. <clears throat> at least the uh, PFC's forward structures are still standing. And a little bit of more artillery being <laughs> being served for the allies. Yep. Oh, there it is. We got a panther out for PFC. Nice. That's uh, the first uh, proper medium tank that he has gotten out. You <laughs> might say that the the Puma, with all its uh, experience, it's carrying. It could be a medium tank. Oh. Well, the Goliath here making this a no infantry zone. Whoa, that retreat path! Well, the retreat path but was no surprise, but ah, they ran into that rocket artillery. Nasty business. Leaving um, Thomas to capture the middle point. PFC, he doesn't have much uh, left, neither does Stern. 101st has rebuilt, so has Thomas. The elephant is on the scene once again. The question is, can the Axis support it sufficiently? Well, there is a panther around. And uh, we do still have the Puma. Might it go down here to the small arms fire? It is exposing its rear. It's not bulletproof. Oh, and there's an AT gun right there. And it has already used its smoke and it goes down to small arms fire. Ranger man, Ranger man, they got a vehicle kill. And there it goes, the hero of the fatherland. And yeah, the panther here. Oh, out of control. Katusha, not Katusha, but the Calliope takes it down along with another unit. PFC is falling apart. Stern had fallen apart and has begun rebuilding. Good shot from the elephant, but can we get another one? I'm not sure. Still tracking, I guess. No. Not anymore, though. Well, with only 51 points left and yet another bunker clearing uh, Sherman coming over here to clear this point. And of course, the riflemen tacking behind it to capture the middle there. They could also pop up the uh, crew once the HMG has been returned back home. Oh, a little bit of a traffic jam there. Oh, elephant trying to get out of the way. There we go, falling back. And the infantry is playing catch up. Rear echelons. Not really sure what he wants to use the rear echelons for. Scalipes are in no need for repair, and I wouldn't suggest him getting down a, um, you know, fighting position or bunkers, you know. They're just gonna get hammered by the double uh, Stukasha Fush that PFC still has. Yeah, 50 points. And this point is being captured, so it's the last VP. At the, this point here, we're looking at a triple cap for the Allies. The Axis just doesn't have what it takes to keep and hold the middle VP nor the one up here in the top for that matter despite their best efforts good use here repairing the um, pack gun but oh what a nasty grenade didn't get any wipes though sadly for uh, PFC that would have been such a nice one what are you doing oh but the elephant is not in position it's crazy going on up there took out 
the yeah the walking stuk is dead down now the elephant is getting haunted lots of uh, artillery raining down there this is this is over the sphere panzer headquarters is trying to chip away and the elephant is completely out of position here ay, ay, ay. i think it's time to raise the white flag call the surrender i surrender to you uh, and during all this chaos the axis actually hold the middle vp <laughs> not that it will do them much good <laughs> 15 and there it is i must say that pfc <laughs> flam and hitza i must say that pfc did very well with um, his puma and um stan's choice to go all the way up for um the heavy mechanized for that broom bear, I think it would have been a better choice for him if he had gotten um, gotten some regular medium tanks because I didn't really feel like the broom bear did much during uh, the vast majority of the time on its map. But oh well, 101st airborne and Thomas take the victory. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this cast. Like and subscribe if you want more. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I'll see you uh, next time. So long.